cute and scary alien. That's what we are creating today. Hi everyone, my name is Jean-Luc Picard. Let's get started. Now before we get into the video, there are links in the description box so you can help save animals from the wildfires in Australia. There are a lot of animals that still need help, so donate if you can. So let's start on this alien cake, you guys. Now, to create this alien, I am just using two six inch half dome cakes. I usually use like a three inch half dome cake to create the body, but because it is a green alien, I think it's supposed to be skinny, which is why I'm just going to wrap fondant around my PVC pipe. So this is super small. It feeds two people or me. I can finish this in one sitting. So let's get started. I'm really proud of the way that I'm stacking these cakes. Uh, you do it so often and it's so easy, just go to Home Depot. Now for the bottom of this, you're gonna notice that I wrapped my support system with fondant and that's because I wanted to make sure that I got that alien shape. You know, I wasn't just gonna rely on icing. I felt like if the icing got too soft, it would just fall off, drip down to the bottom. So I made sure I did it with fondant so that it would hold the shape and it worked, it worked out perfectly. Alright you guys, so I've got the base of my alien cake. It looks like a balloon. You guys, it looks like a really nice looking balloon. I need this to set up. I would put this in the fridge for about two hours. I'm gonna have to put it in the fridge for about a day because I've got chores, I've got errands to run, and I can't get back to this cake until tomorrow. So this crumb coat will keep everything moist. I'll see you tomorrow. So the quiet side, no carving, but the scary side, I carved just a little bit so that I could add some texture to his forehead and his cheeks, just to make it more dimensional and give it more realism. Now, let's start adding fondant. Now, I love the idea of doing aliens. I am a huge Star Wars fan. I can show you my collection on the side over here behind the camera. You would know how big a Star Wars fan I am. So even though this is probably the most generic alien, I would be totally into creating a whole bunch of Star Wars aliens for you guys. Ooh, my favorite Jedi is Shakti. And I don't know how to pronounce what species she is. She's Tagruta. There we go. That could be cool to create her as a cute and scary cake or even as a beauty cake because her features are just so beautiful. So for the scary side, I didn't want to go with like a paler green. I wanted to go for just straight up gray and just do my interpretation of what has been abducting people for forever. I have spent many a night on YouTube and Netflix and Hulu watching paranormal stuff about the gray. They're the ones that are abducting people and doing all of the probing stuff. Ooh, there's a lot of crazy stories out there. Do I believe in aliens? I want to say no, but also I get very scared at night after I watch these like series. So I think I do believe. So here's our early cake so far. I'm liking the green. I tried to use a thinner piece of fondant. Um, and there was icing underneath this that was still frozen so it didn't make as flat a surface as I wanted to but that's okay It doesn't bother me too much. This is our scary side. Okay. Okay. I'm liking it I'm liking the wrinkles here. I like how mad it looks and I love 
how like a brainiac it looks. I added these like temples that really are pushed in just to give it more dimension. And I like the shape that it created. So I've got to create the body now and I'm going to add all of the fondant features to my alien's face. It's pretty simple because it is kawaii, so let's get to it. Here is our cute alien face. You like it? I think it's cute. So I did have to adjust the placement of the eyes, the antennas, and the mouth a few times. You know, I'm not working with round eyes. I'm also not working with a round face. So it took me a little getting used to to figure out how to create a cute alien. Um, you know, with kawaii features, most of the eyes are like way down, but it didn't work for the alien. Also, the mouth size didn't work because the chin is so low. So I had to play with this face a lot just to get it to this point. Another thing is that when I was creating the gray alien, I really ended up liking the gray showing on this side. So I'm thinking that my cute alien is going to be wearing a robe. I think that'll be really, really cute. Maybe a popped collar? I don't know yet. It's We haven't decided that yet. Alright, let's get to it. There really isn't that much cake in this <laughs> cake. I really wanted the body of the alien to be super skinny. And I don't even think that my alien's all that skinny. Cause the pipe is really kind of thick. I really want it to be like, you have you ever seen Road Trip? That like very tall, lanky looking guy? <laughs> have you seen it? You know what I'm talking about. If you've seen it, you know the character. Whenever I looked at pictures of the gray, that's all I saw. Just a lot of big headed, very scrawny guys walking around, doing the probing stuff. That's what they look like. I tried to make them as scary as I could. I mean, within the format of cute and scary. But I don't know. Even with like those angry eyes I added, I still can't take this guy seriously. Ta-da! My cute and scary alien. What do you think? I love that this is like the most generic alien you've ever seen. This is what all the cute aliens look like. Green, big heads that look like balloons and then a tiny body at the bottom. But I like that gave him, he's doing the peace sign, you see? We come in peace to eat your flesh. And then when you turn it around, you got this really scary guy. Oh god, look at those eyes, he's so angry. Somebody spill your milk, buddy? Now, my favorite part about this alien, oh, well, besides the peace sign, are these antennas. I think they're super cute. I love the eyes, I love the red and the pink that I added around the eye. I also love the veins at the top of the head. Look at that, oh. Oh, those look gorgeous, don't they, buddy? And I, I kept the cape for the other side just because, you know, space is cold and you have something to cover yourself with. I was gonna put a thermal on this guy, but I don't know, it seemed ridiculous. turn anything into a cute and scary cake so if you have ideas let me know in the comments because this alien cake was created from a comment i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you i'll see you very soon peace